I have a bone to pick with you. What now? Just about your delivery on things. Okay. The other day when you called me and asked me if you can do Shai's hair, I don't know if condescending's the word, but you're very like shaming, like, can I do Shai's hair? Do you mind? And you're like, because <laughs> her hair has like so much product in it. And I'm just like, I know. Mm -hmm. I had a really hard week. So I said to my mom, can you please watch my two little ones? I'll send them over and can you get them ready for school? Chicago put in this hair gel in her hair on the way out the door. And I was like, honestly, who cares? My mom can slick her hair in a ponytail, put it in a, who cares? So Chloe FaceTimes me and is like, I had to go over to mom's and help her get your kids ready. And Chicago's hair, the hair gel, you were calling to not really ask me if you could do her hair, but to let me know. No, I actually that wanted her to know. Hair wasn't I, washed. And if it was, you don't care if I do, gross. next time I will not ask you, and I'll just, just do, do the it. hair. But yeah. it also, then if I do it, you're going to say, "Why'd you touch that?" That was an extremely hard week. Oh, I thought and you were going to say extremely. you were extremely. like, "Do you mind if I do her hair?" Because it's nasty. All and I you... said was, "Do you mind if I do Chicago's hair?" Because I didn't know if you are very particular. I know her hair looks shitty. Thank okay. you for reminding me wow. that I didn't have the time to do her wow. hair wow. one night before bed and wash it. What are we talking about here? I actually thought we were good. I, I did Shai's hair, and then I took the kids to school, and like that was really it. I had no idea she was holding on to this. It Thanks. sounds like you're dealing with Thanks. a bunch of your own bullshit, Fine. and you decided like harvest this and build up all this animosity towards me when this is a you problem i swear you just want to project whatever you're going through on and take it out on me and i could handle it but only for so long i'm not going to be here all day so if you need to slap me or something do it never let my kid go to bed with but i never gel. said that did but i ever say tone. that it's just the tone maybe you wouldn't have such a stick up your ass over hair gel if you lived your life a little bit like it's just crazy Kim and Khloe Kardashian are at it again. They've gotten into a heated argument with insults flying about and even claims of mom shaming. It's all over the press and tensions are rising between two famous sisters. Let's take a look at what has happened in their most recent feud. In a confessional, Kim revealed her irritation with Khloe saying, Khloe has really been pissing me off lately. And I just wanna get some things off my chest, really talk to her, and clear the air before we go. This came before Kim's family trip to Aspen, Colorado, where she planned to confront her sister. The argument began when Kim mentioned an incident involving her daughter, Chicago. Kim kept going. Chloe FaceTimes me and is like, I had to go over to mom's and help get your kids ready and Chicago's hair, the hair gel. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Celebrity Loop, for more videos like this. Chloe was taken aback and replied that she was ignorant of Kim's anger. It sounds like you're dealing with a bunch of your own bulls. T and you decided to harvest this and build up all this animosity towards me when this is a UF King problem, she went on. Chloe stated that she never meant to embarrass Kim, blaming the event on Kim's own insecurities. Kim intensified the argument by criticizing Chloe's lifestyle. She accuses Chloe of being overly concerned with her children at the expense of her social life. You should live your life. You have access to the entire world, yet you refuse to explore it. You won't let yourself go out there and meet someone, let alone a group of friends, Kim argued. Chloe responded by saying Kim was transferring her own troubles onto her and blaming her for being a caring mother. Despite the violent conversation, Chloe chose to accompany the family to Aspen, determined not to let Kim's negative attitude ruin her plans. However, conflicts arose during the trip. Chloe sarcastically questioned, Are you going to yell at me if I FaceTime my daughter? This remark caused Kim to level further charges, saying Chloe was not present at a recent event because she FaceTimed her kid from the party. Kendall Jenner entered the conversation, supporting Kim but criticizing Chloe's ability to enjoy herself in the moment. 
Chloe defended herself, stating that she needed to inform her nannies about the dinner schedule and that Kim had also inquired about mealtimes. Throughout the season, Chloe has been a lightning rod for criticism from her family, particularly Kim, for not only preferring time with her children over dating or going out with friends, but for nearly never leaving the house. For some reason, I constantly being examined and critiqued for being too mommy, like, you spend too much time with your kids, you don't have any friends, Chloe remarked during Thursday's new hour. I feel like I was meant to be a mother. There's no place I'd rather be than here with my children. Kim brought up Chloe's tone before remarking in a confessional that her sister has such a stick up her ass and has to live her life a little bit more and get fay kid. She then started to yell at her sister, this time taking aim at her apparent lack of social life. Kim said, It's like the whale, he won't leave his house because you know I'm Brendan Fraser? Chloe shouted, adding, I thought you'd say I look like a whale. Kim recognized that it wasn't the perfect parallel. Given the film Starred Fraser as an online English teacher whose a guilt over his significant weight prevents him from leaving his house to contact people. Though the conversation began with Kim feeling mom-shamed, Chloe believed her sister was doing the same to her and shaming me for being a helicopter mom. Wow, that was pretty intense, right? What do you think about all this? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.